Hello, I'm Ralph Wilkinson Thompson. I'm a poet. I know I don't look much like a poet, but you'll have to take my word for it. When, I know you're all asking this, so I'll answer it for you. When you are asking, did you first realise you were a poet? Well, it was when I went to a party in Kensington in the 1970s and uh, it was a nice party it was thrown by some sort of knob or other who was a subscriber to the conservative government so the wine flowed everything flowed uh, and and I was amazed I was amazed but that doesn't come into it here now because look at this party someone came up to me you know like they do at parties you know, someone, there's always someone comes in, usually from the left, or maybe from the right, but they come in and they say, Hello, and who are you, and what do you do? Well, I said, I'm a fucking poet. I don't know why I said that, it was just off the top of my head. I just wanted to antagonise these people because they were so la di da, you know. But as it happened, he too was a poet. Not only a poet, but he had his own publishing house in Chelsea. Well, he had a house in Chelsea. I don't know whether it was involved in publishing. Anyway, he said, So you're a pub? You're a... You're a um, he said that. And then he fell over. And he got up again and he said this. So you're a poet. Can you prove it to me? And I said, Yes, I can. Because I'm a man. He, he wasn't impressed with that. He wasn't impressed with that at all. And he said, he went on from that to say, Well, uh, if you're a poet, can you provide a rhyme for orange? And I said, No, I can't, because I'm not a fucking orange poet. I'm a normal poet. I'm a normal human being poet. It doesn't rhyme things with orange. Are you mad? And he said, Yes, I am. And so everything was settled quite amicably at that stage. But later I went on to meet the Pope. I just threw that in because it's quite a good thing to throw in, isn't it, when you get to meet the Pope. And he asked me to recite a poem for him because I told him I was a poet. And, and this is the poem I wrote for the Pope. I wrote... Ooh, fuck off, you Pope thing. You are not the king of my life. You do not persuade me. In fact, you dissuade me from everything to do with my life. You are a really irresponsible human being because you live in a house on a hill. Well, I don't know if the Vatican is a house on the hill, actually. It's probably not. It's just probably a house somewhere. But you get my point, you get my drift, don't you? You live in a house on a hill and you can't even pay the bill. I'm referring to him not paying a bill for all the crimes his people, his, what they call priests, is that what they call priests? Yes, his priests have committed against young offenders. Is that what they're called? Offended? No, I'm sure it's not. I've got it wrong there. But you get my drift. You know where, where I'm going to on this. So I said, Pope... Pope, you have no hope. You'd better buy a lot of soap, because you'll need to be very clean, if you know what I mean, when the God above us all calls us up to the roll call, you'll know what I mean. Um, hmm, no, I've run out of rhymes there. You see how difficult it is to be a poet. You don't know when you start off on something where you're going to end up. Let that be a lesson to all of you in life, all of you in life, all there, all of you young people who want to be poets, like, 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 like your black idols, your Jeffrey Zephaniah person. It's not all easy. It's not all a walk to the park. It's not all a walk in the park. It's sort of like a walk around the park. You got to walk around the park. 
and there you will see all the people sitting on park benches uh, drinking and getting drunk out of their minds because they're not in the park so that's what I've got to say to you as a poet see this what I'm doing here with my fingers it's it's a peace sign either that or I've just walked in I'm just a Roman who's walked into a bar and has ordered five beers you see that's it